Katika. Bunge la Seneti hii leo lilikosa kumchagua naibu wa spika baada ya wote waliokuwa wameomba badhi huo kujiondoa kwenye uchaguzi. Wote walikuwa maseneta wa Jubilee na inasemekana wamejiondoa kumpa nafasi seneta wa Tharakanithi ambaye ni Profesa Kiture Kindiki ile kutumwa ombi lake rasmi wakati shughuli hiyo itakapokuwa imeanza upya. Aliyekuwa gavana wa Bungoma Kenneth Lusaka alichaguliwa spika wa bunge hilo. Mwanahabari wetu Andrew Ching ana mengi. Baada ya kuapishwa jukumu kuu kwa maseneta mapya ilikuwa ni kumchagua spika na naibu wa spika. Awali kulikuwa na taarifa kuwa upinzani ungesusia shughuli hiyo kupinga uteuzi wa Kenneth Lusaka ambaye ana madai ya usimamizi mbaya wa afisi dhidi yake. Hawakususia ila waliwasilisha malalamishi yao kwenye kikao. It be terrible if at any one time the person who occupies the position of the chair of this house Uh, had matters which are still pending uh, any advice findings made by the, by the previous senate because that would undermine the authority of the, of the house so i just wanted as a matter of clarity whether there's been compliance with the chapter on leadership and integrity and that the house did actually undertake a leadership a leadership and integrity test uh, before putting the names before us for for this process of electing the speaker. Upenzani unasema kuwa kulingana na ripoti iliyotarishwa na kamati ya seneti ya fedha, Lusaka alichunguzwa kwa madai ya matumizi mabaya ya fedha na ripoti hiyo ilisema kuwa iwapo atapatikana na hatia ya tumia kupambana na ufisadi, basi achukuliwe hatua. You've put us in such a position that we might have to have our speaker having to step aside while we are discussing him alternatively when the com committee on implementation is implementing this document we will be put in crosshairs because we do not know what we are supposed to do Jubilee ATV ilimtetea Lusaka assuming then we deny this gentleman an opportunity to run for office of speaker and then these investigations are done and is found that he never or, or, or is not convicted or never found to have been culpable What would have happened? Karani wa bunge hilo alisema kwamba kulingana na kanuni za uchaguzi wa spika si lazima tume ya ofisadi itoe idhini ila ni tume ya uchaguzi ndio inapaswa kuhakikisha kwamba mgombea pia anaweza kuwa mgombea wa kiti cha useneta. The body with the infrastructure and the wherewithal to make a determination of eligibility under our constitution to vie for a member of parliament is the independent electoral and boundaries commission we had recourse to them and their response in in respect of each of the persons who are, who is listed on the order pep, on the ballot was that they are eligible uh, to vie as members of parliament indeed some of them did vie uh, for the position of member of uh, parliament Lusaka alishinda raundi ya kwanza kwa kupata kura 40. Fara Maalim aliyependekezwa na upinzani alipata kura 23. Ekwe Ethuro ambaye ndiye spika anayeondoka alipata kura mbili. Katika raundi ya pili Lusaka alipata kura 42 na Fara Maalim akapata kura 25. Let me say that the second senate is no longer nyumba ya wazee. The second senate under the 2010 constitution will strive to reach out and harmoniously work with the national government the so called supremacy wars must be a thing of the past that is how tangible and progressive milestones will be realized by our bicameral parliament uchaguzi wa naibu wa speaker haukufanyika kwa sababu wagombea wanne waliokuwa wameumba wadhifa huo Irungu Kangata Kimani wa Matangi Susan Kihika na Johnson Sakaja walijiondoa Andrew Ochieng NTV